This is Dustin. Hi. That's a good way. He didn't know about our ministry at all. No. Um, and in passing, he ran in to Robin, who is a big promoter of the ministry here. And he was talking about how much pain he had. And I'm going to let him take over the story. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I uh, appreciate you guys listening. So I just want to give you guys a heads up that the, uh, the power of prayer works and miracles are real, and that it's by our faith that we are healed, that we have full deliverance from anything under God. And I will attest to that. I used to be working in Fort Mac, Alberta. It was negative 30, negative 40, and it was a long stretch working in you know Alberta camps. I ran large excavators, and I was working on a mountain, and the shelf that I was working on had an unscheduled detonation going on by a debt team, and the whole shelf on the mountain just went down. Okay, so it sent multiple operators, including myself, down the mountain. Um, I was not wearing my seatbelt on the inside, so I bounced around in that excavator, and I lost control of my legs. It damaged my spine, it damaged my knees, it damaged my legs. Uh, the doctors said that I would never walk again, never stand again, never kneel again, never run again. And uh, it was just been failed surgery after failed surgery after failed surgery. Um, I knew in Ontario, in the GTA, there was some of the best doctors and hospitals and um, most cutting edge medical technology in Canada. So I relocated from Alberta in faith that I would be healed in Ontario. But it's not that kind of healing that healed me. It was God. Um, if I can say, in October, I went through three surgeries. Three surgeries, and it was supposed to turn off all the nerve pain in my legs. It was supposed to fix my back, um, and it didn't. And there was still pain afterwards. Um, and I remember going to see Dr. Russ. He's been helping me develop giftings and other things of... Jesus, um, and I remember seeing Robin in the hallway, and she's like, are you in pain? I was like, absolutely. <laughs> I can barely walk, and I'm on heavy opiates. Um, but I pretended really well I was together, right? Because no one wants to look weak in front of another person. And I was vulnerable in front of Robin. I said, you know what? Yeah, I am hurting, and I do need help. And then she pointed me to this place to meet Greg and Gail and to meet John and Florinda. And uh, basically, it was a combination of faith, prayer, uh, renouncing that I did uh, just because of my background. Um, it was a native renouncing prayer that I had to do to fully unlock the power of God because there was bondage over my life because of the generational into the native, right? And somehow, after we went through that prayer together, not was there just one crack in my body, not did I just not feel the holy fire of God throughout my body that made me just sweat buckets. Um, not, there was just at least eight cracks aligning my spine all the way down. So it went pop, 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 pop. And in both legs, in Jesus' name, <laughs> I will just do this for you because I can kneel. And you know what? I've been rehabilitating myself at the gym. I can run. And these are against all medical odds because the doctor said you would never move like that. You would never run like that. And now I'm actually trying to help my family by going to work full time. So I'm actually working full time now. And uh, that's just, you know, a huge testimony of the power of God working in my life. And it's been so exciting. Awesome. Wow. Wow. That's our Father. That's our Savior. And that's the Holy Spirit, our paraclete. Right? And it's available to every single one of us and our families. Praise God. 